So you guys want to know how to get faster. It's a very simple question, but the answer is not so simple itself. There's obviously a lot of variables of how to do it, different methods of getting faster, but with all that aside, let's get right into it. Yeah, that's your cue, like roll the intro. So you want to know how to get faster. And my method is pretty simple. To run faster, you have to run faster. Now I know you guys are like, Jamie, that doesn't make any sense. Like obviously I want to run faster, but how do I get faster? That's simply the main ingredient to getting faster. If you want to get faster, you got to teach your body to go faster, which means speed work. And I mean speed work in a sense that you're going faster than what you would at any point in an actual race or close to it. For example, let's say Jamie is a 5K runner. He runs 20 minutes in the 5K and I'm doing my tempo runs. I'm running more mileage and more mileage all the time. But the thing is, your body is meant to adjust. If you're teaching your body to always go a certain pace, a certain speed all the time, guess what it's gonna do? It's going to adapt and say, all right, we're gonna go at this pace all the time and we will be good at that. But you got to your body to say, hey, I wanna go faster, which means go to the track. There's high school, there's middle school tracks, find one, do a speed workout. And a speed workout could be anything between doing multiple repeats of the 100 meter dash, it could be doing repeat 200s, repeat 400s. You basically wanna engage in those fast switch fibers. You want to teach your body how it feels to go fast. It will learn, it will adapt. Like right now in the US, one of the best marathoners is Galen Rubb. He's an amazing 10K runner. He's an amazing marathoner. He's one of the best in recent times. But guess what he does? That man, he may run a two hour marathon, but he can also run a 22, 23 second 200. That's pretty fast. Some sprinters run that in races. He can hit that in a workout. He's teaching his body to go faster. And although you never hit that speed in the actual race, you're teaching your body to adapt to that pacing, that, that speed where it feels less new to your body. Like I keep saying, your body will adapt. If your body can get used to running at a 24 second, 200 pace or 25 second, 30 second, whatever your speed is, if it can handle that and be used to that, when you transition back into your race, those paces you wanna hit will come more natural. All of a sudden, a six minute mile doesn't feel as hard as it used to be. Cause your body is used to going faster than that. So yeah, I can go on and on, but I'm telling you to get faster, you gotta run faster. Period. Speed work, track work, try it out. It might hurt. And if you try it and it feels hard, that's a good thing. That means you have a lot of room to improve. Okay, so my next point I would say is get in the weight room. What? Jamie, I'm a runner. I don't want to lift weights and get all bulky and get heavy and then I run slower. Stop. Just stop. The whole myth that runners shouldn't lift, that's a whole nother rant that I will save for another day. But guys, to get faster, you got to engage those muscles. You gotta be explosive. You gotta use the muscles that you need. If you don't use them, you lose them. It's simple as that. If someone never uses their muscles, guess what? They get weak. Your body doesn't have a need to get strong because you never give it a need to be strong for. So strength training, hit that core. Your core is your core. It's called the core because it's where everything starts. When your core is strong, you're strong. I don't mean do a bunch of sit-ups and abs and stuff. I'm talking though abs, lower, upper, obliques, lower back, please. The lower back is like everyone's weak point. And work on the hips. You gotta have strong hips. Guys, especially, we have the, the weakest hips. That's why we're always getting injured. Do a leg day, compound lifts. Hand cleans, power cleans, deadlifts, pull-ups. But Jamie, that has nothing to do with your legs. You need to be strong, not just your legs. When you run, it's a full body workout. Everything, you're pumping your arms, you gotta keep your form in your chest, your, your core has to be strong, your legs, your hamstrings, quads, your calves, all that is involved when you're running. If that's weak, it's gonna be hard to improve. Combine the strength with speed work, Boy, you're halfway there. 
So my third tip would be to work on your form. Now, I don't want to get into the whole what is the correct form argument, but I will say that when you're running, make sure that your momentum is going forward. So many times I see people who want to get faster and they're heel striking, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but when you're heel striking, your forward momentum is being stopped every time you take a step. But if you can hit your midfoot, all that momentum is going forward. And once you get going, you find a rhythm. And once you find that rhythm, now you're moving. And especially, use your arms. Your legs will follow your arms. If you're pumping hard, your legs are pumping. Get your knees up. If you watch a sprinter run, their knees are up, they're pumping, they're going, they're moving. Now, not everyone here is a 100 meter dash sprinter, but those same concepts can be used into your daily training. The key to being fast in longer distances is to find that balance of being efficient. You don't wanna be sprinting like a sprinter because you're going for a whole marathon or a 10K or whatever, but you don't wanna be running on daisies, you know, tiptoeing. You wanna you want find that balance. And the more you do it, the more comfortable it will feel. But yeah, work on that form. And this last point kind of goes back to the whole speed work thing. You gotta implement those things gradually. Don't just do all speed work and then think you're getting faster at 5K. So my philosophy on racing is like a puzzle piece. The entire race, is a puzzle and every workout you do is putting a piece of that puzzle together so for example let's go with the mile the mile on the track or the 1500 whatever you run so in the mile you need what you need endurance you need speed and you need speed endurance how long can your body stay at work is it dying out within 20 minutes or can you go for an hour long run that's one part of the puzzle you gotta have that endurance now speed endurance is how long can i maintain my speed how efficient is my lactate threshold? Am I feeling heavy too soon? You wanna work on speed endurance workouts to where you're going faster for longer increments. Maybe your speed day could be 50 meter dashes, 100 meter dashes, but your speed endurance days can be you doing 300 meter repeats, 400 meter repeats, going fast for a longer amount of time. If you combine that speed work with speed endurance with your endurance workouts, you got all the pieces you need. Now, collectively, that will make you faster. Races like the mile, the 5K, the 10K, even a marathon, you will see it more and more the higher the distance you go up. Now, if you're doing something like an ultra marathon, that may be a different type of style. If you're running a 100 meter dash, obviously you're doing more speed work. So depending on your event, you will do more or less speed work, speed endurance, or endurance work. If you're an ultra marathoner, you probably don't need to be doing 50 meter dashes on the track. Your speed work might be running 400 meter dashes. Whereas someone who wants to run a mile might run 200 meter dashes as her speed work. So it's all relative to what the goal is in the end. Anyway guys, that's my tips on how to get faster or how to race faster or whatever I title this video. Be sure to comment down below your tips and suggestions of how to get faster. What do you do? Is it the training you do? Is it the workouts you do? Share, it's okay to share with me. Let, let me know something, teach me something. All right, guys, with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.